news now at 6 30. i'm getting closer to the start of hockey season in las vegas this time next month the golden knights will be in full workout mode at the city national practice facility ron futrell has been taking us through the nuances of the sport tonight he's working on one of the sport's most basic rules ron yes tonight dave and christiane we take a look at icing no, no, not that, not that stuff you put at the top of the cake, but that would be fun, wouldn't it, about dinner time right now? But it's the rule that keeps people from just chucking the puck down the ice. Long, and it's ricocheted back across to be played by Ellis and back down. And icing is called. Well, after so here's the technical game, definition. Icing occurs when a player shoots the puck across both the center red line and the opposing team's goal line, and the puck remains untouched. And the reason for the rule? It's so that you can't just relieve the pressure in your own zone by just getting rid of it. Now the NHL has a new rule, and there is a rather severe penalty for icing. With the new rules on the regular icing, it's, it's huge. It, it, it gives the other team a distinct advantage. If I get caught out there tired and I've iced the puck, I come, face off comes back down to my zone. They throw out their number one line. Maybe we've got a number four line out there, and the advantage goes to the attacking team. Well, there you go. So you can't swap your players out if you ice the puck. Now, there is one exception to the icing rule, and that's if your team is shorthanded. If you're down a man or down two men, you can ice the puck at any time, and that's to just to relieve the pressure. Wouldn't we all like to just relieve the pressure <laughs> by just going out there and slapping a puck down? Kind of like the offsides ice? or something, isn't it? Yes. Well, offsides, we hold. That's oh, a different Dave, thing. Okay. That's next I'm week. getting ahead. Okay. Oh, that's that, sorry. Did you Dave, see my Dave. scripts for next week? <laughs> next okay. Oh, oh, now sometimes, <laughs> sometimes icing isn't intentional. It's accidental. Like the guy, a guy misses a pass and yeah. it goes past them and goes all the way down. Right. And there is one other exception when icing isn't called when you have when the goalie leaves the crease and you have an open net goal that goes so if you hit it in the if you hit it in the net then they're not going to call icing on you there I so, see. and that does happen tricky tricky with the open yeah. net goal yeah.